Welcome to Sid Hudak, YouTube channel. Take a look at this complete video, then do it. I talk to you how to flash Samsung phones with Odin tool. But how to do that? Odin is a firmware flashing software developed and internally used by Samsung. It is believed that instead of released by Samsung officially, the tool is leaked accidentally. And thanks to the leak, this effective tool is now widely used by Samsung users to flash firmware, recoveries, bootloaders, or modem files on Samsung Galaxy device. This tutorial is going to show you the process of flashing Samsung stock ROM and official original firmware via Odin. Complete tutorial about flashing and restoring any model of Samsung Galaxy smartphone or any Samsung Galaxy device to stock firmware. This guide will make you able to upgrade or downgrade to any firmware version by using Odin 3. Requirements 1. Stock ROM for the model number of your device. 2. Odin 3 tool. 3. Samsung Kais or Samsung Mobile Driver. 4. Charged rooted or non-rooted Samsung Galaxy device model. 5. USB cable and Windows computer or laptop. Before starting, 1. Make sure that your device is well charged. Ideally, the battery level should be around 70 to 80 percent. The more the better. 2. Back up your important data before flashing, in case of this process corrupt your all data. 3. Download stock ROM file. Make sure you download the right firmware for your phone's model number. From Samobile or Samsung updates, and unzip it only one time. The extracted firmware file has asterisk.tar.md5 extension. 4. Download and install Samsung Kais or Samsung Mobile Driver. Install USB drivers for your device on your PC. You can download and install Samsung Kais which will automatically install device drivers. After, close Samsung Kais and disconnect any device connected to USB ports of your computer, make sure that Samsung Kais is not running. 5. Download Odin 3 tool and unzip it. Understanding Odin options, you will get following files, Odin 3 version.exe, now, right click on Odin 3 version.exe and run it as administrator to start Odin. First, let's see what does the checkbox options do, auto reboot, this option, when checked, reboots the system automatically after flashing is done. Repartition. So, what does repartition do in Odin? It repartitions your device file system to the default, RFS. F reset time. It resets the flashing timer after the flash process is complete. And here is what different buttons mean and what they are used for, PIT, partition information table. If you check the Ray Partition checkbox, you should also specify a Paint file to repartition the file system. Bootloader, this button is used to flash the device bootloader. PDA, it refers to the firmware build. You can use this button to select the ROM or kernel that you want to flash onto your device. Phone, it refers to baseband and modem version. CSC, Consumer Software Customization. Click this button and select the CSC file. It contains region or carrier specific files and may also include APN and MMS settings for that carrier. Please be aware that you need to be very careful while using Odin. Especially with Ray Partition option you need to select the right PIT file. If you do not have the right .pint file, do not check Ray Partition option as it may break your phone. You need to select the right file against each button. Click on the button, browse and select the appropriate file. 
These files are usually found inside a firmware zip package. If used carefully and in the right way, Odin is very handy tool. Here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to use Odin to flash stock ROM on your Android smartphone and tablet. Flash Samsung stock ROM using Odin Step 1. Download and install Samsung USB driver on your computer. In case you have already installed the Samsung USB driver on your computer then skip this step. Step 2. Download. Stock ROM compatible with your device or if you have already downloaded the firmware then ignore downloading it again and extract it on your computer. After extracting you will be able to see these kind of files. Step 3. Power off your Samsung device. Step 4. Now, you have to boot into download mode. To boot into download mode, press and hold volume down key. Home key and power key. When phone vibrates leave the power key but keep holding the volume down key and home key. You will boot into the download mode. Step 5. In the download mode you will be able to see a warning yellow triangle sign. In this situation you have to press the volume up key to confirm entering the download mode. Step 6. Download and extract Odin on your computer. After extracting you will be able to see the following files. Step 7. Now, open Odin 3 and run it as administrator to start Odin. And connect your phone to the computer. Step 8. Once you have connected the phone to the computer, Odin will automatically recognize the device and show, added, message at the lower left panel. Or connect your device to the computer via USB cable. When your device is connected, one of Odin ID and com boxes will turn yellow and display the COM port number. See the screen below? Step 9. Once your device detected by Odin, click on the PDA button and select the tar.md5 file that you have extracted. Or if the firmware package had multiple files, click on PDA button, then browse and select the file that has code PDA in its name. Click on phone button and select the file that has modem in its name. Click on CSC button and select the file with CSC in its name. Skip any files that you did not find in the package. Make sure that you do not mess up with checkboxes. Step 10. Now, click on the Start button in Odin to begin the flashing process. Step 11. Once you see the green pass message then remove the USB cable from the device during this process. Your device will restart automatically. Step 12. Your Samsung device will now stuck at boot, boot loop. Now, you have to boot into stock recovery mode. To enable stock recovery mode, press enter old volume UP key, home key, power key. When phone vibrates leave the power key but keep holding the volume UP key and home key. You will boot into the recovery mode. Step 13, in recovery mode, wipe data slash factory reset. Step 14, once cache data is cleared, select restart phone now from the recovery menu. Step 15, now. Your Samsung device will restart without any issue with the stock ROM you have downloaded. If failed, what should you do? Try these things first, update your device driver software to the latest. Restart your computer. Run Odin as administrator. Try different cable, original one or the one with better quality, and USB port, the main port recommended, re-download the firmware file, make sure it is intact and match your device model. Important, note, 
flashing stock ROM or downgrading stock ROM does not void your phone warranty. So, don't worry about the device warranty. Installing official firmware or stock ROM does not involve much risks most of the time. However, try this at your own risk. We will not be responsible for any hard done to your device.